Hello, Simon Rainier, Link Simon Sarah, out of Kamloops, British Columbia. An often neglected area of sort of the European martial arts scene is stick fighting. Yeah, we have HEMA single stick tournaments, um, but they're not really stick fighting proper. They're training for broadsword. For some reason, there's not a lot of broadsword tournaments, there's a lot of single stick tournaments. Don't know why. Fix it. Um, but stick fighting is a part of many, many, many cultures. Often, sort of conquered cultures. Conquering force comes in, takes their swords away, and they replace them with sticks. You see this in the Philippines with the Filipino Kali, etc., uh, and Eskrima. And you see this in Ireland with the shillelagh. Um, it's come to my conclusion that not everyone knows what a shillelagh is. This is a shillelagh. Uh, it's a walking stick made of blackthorn, and it is a fun little thing. Uh, this one specifically, I don't know how well you can see it. It's a Wilkinson shillelagh. Um, they are quite often spiked, as this one has little thorns on it. Uh, beautiful pieces of work, really dark wood with sort of a nice amber heartwood to it. A lot of times the, the knob on the end is sort of a root ball. This one is not. This one is made out of a, a branch that has been sort of cut to purpose. Uh, still does exactly what it needs to. Uh, now I've done a lot of stick fighting in my day. Um, the first I did was Ryukyo Kabuto, which is a Japanese uh, basically non-sword weapons forms uh, involving the, the staff, the bow staff. Uh, later I did some quarterstaff stuff, I've studied uh, Silver's quarterstaff, Svetnam's quarterstaff. Um, never done Meyer's quarterstaff, but it looks really cool. But, um, later on discovered the English cane fighting art of Bartitsu, by, created by one Barton Wright back in sort of the Victorian times. Um, Barton Wright was a right proper psychopath, uh, and I don't mind saying it. Uh, but one of the styles I, that really struck, stuck with me was the Irish shillelagh. Um, there's information you can find about it online. The cool thing is, a lot of these shillelagh systems are living traditions. People still still have living traditions that have been passed down uh, through families. One of the systems out there uh, that have a lot of information that can be readily found is the Doyle family uh, method of shillelagh fighting. And he's... Um, the inheritor of the system has a school uh, in sort of eastern Canada, eastern of me anyway, I think it's in Ontario or something, um, and he's put a lot of his information online and it's really cool. I love seeing people share information. I think that's that's the mark of someone who's truly passionate, someone who wants to share everything they know. And uh, one of the really, really interesting things about it is instead of sort of holding the stick at either one end or the other, you kind of hold it with both hands in the middle to begin. You can strike out either way, you can use it extended, um, and having played with this, I find that to be really, really useful and really uh, a cool way of using the stick. Um, despite the, the spikes on it, it's surprisingly comfortable to grip this particular shillelagh. Uh, and that all the thorns really do is discourage people from grabbing it although there are plenty of ways in system to deal with that, uh, and also makes it suck a lot more to get hit with. Uh, it doesn't necessarily do any more damage, um, but it would hurt a lot to get hit with something this, this kind of spiky and thorny. Um, so yeah, highly recommend looking some of this stuff up. Um, sometimes with some of my students we play with stick fighting. I don't claim to be an expert or anything, we just kind of play with it and see what works and see what doesn't work. Uh, and it, it's a lot, a lot of fun. We all all start our sword careers uh, in backyards and on beaches, hitting each other with sticks. And, and sometimes there's a real, a real joy to be found in, in going back to the roots of that and, and picking up a stick and whacking on each other. Um, so, yeah, play safe, have fun, hit someone with a stick. Goodbye.